Seventh and eighth. Want me to roll something in there? Ready? Do it. Do it. Okay. Welcome to the Hamden Town Council meeting for February 21st, 2017. Could you please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The next item on the agenda tonight is the consent agenda. Do I have a motion to approve? I'll move adoption of the consent agenda. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Seeing none, thank you. Uh, next item is public comments. At this time, anybody in the public that would like to speak on anything that is not on the agenda tonight, this is your opportunity. Seeing none, public comments closed. The next item would be item D2, public hearing, consideration of the proposed amendments to the fees ordinance under Article 6, recreation fees. The uh, reason for the increases was due to the minimum wage hike, so we had to offset some of the fees to cover those rate increases. Uh, any public comment? Seeing none. Do I have a motion? I move that we uh, increase the uh, recreation fees. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Thank you. The next item under nominations is the appointment of Todd Hoffert to the Recreation Committee, referral from services, Councillor Marble. Yes, the application for this came to the Services Committee and note from that application that Mr. Hoffert uh, is a Hamden resident. He has experience as a project manager and has coaching experience. Seems like a good fit for the Recreation Committee, and I would so move that appointment. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. The next item is the appointment of Thomas Doherty to the Board of Assessment Review, referral from finance. Uh, we had that discussion tonight and it was unanimous to send to council for the appointment of Thomas Doherty to the Board of Assessment Review. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the appointment of Thomas Doherty to the Board of Assessment Review. Second. Discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Thank you. And also tonight was the appointment of uh, Thomas Dorothy to the alternate to the planning board. Um, that was discussed in finance and voted unanimously to send to the council for approval. Do I have a motion? I move we uh, approve the appointment of uh, Thomas Doherty as the, uh, he's an alternate planning board member. Right. Second. Discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Thank you. That is Tom Darty. Hi. Congratulations. <laughs> We've been blessed. Have a nice evening. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to stay in. You can oppose. <laughs> the next, next item on the agenda is the announcement of a vacancy on the RSU 22 Board of Directors due to the resignation of Jason Sharp and review of council procedure for filling RSU Board of Director vacancies pursuant to 20 AMRSA 1254-3 and 1474-3. It's in the town charter and the state law that the town council would nominate uh, somebody to fill in on that vacancy on the board until they vote in November. The deadline for applications for that vacancy is March 16th. So that's just a heads up for anybody in town that is looking to serve on the school board. It would be a temporary fill-in position until elections in November. The next item up tonight is old business, the authorization of the town manager to issue requests for proposals, requests for qualifications for design, engineering, permitting, services for the municipal building and pool site, referral from services. Councilor Marble. This issue dates back uh, at least two years 
to observations by members of the council and the public uh, for a need for fields shortly followed by a recognition of a parking issue uh, during recreational activities on uh, 202. Um, I know the mayor walked a lot of ground. This has been discussed in committees and been developed gradually to the point where um, we have a topographical survey, we've mapped some wetlands, we have a concept plan, but this is going to require uh, DEP approval and permitting uh, to do anything. So what this item is, is uh, the next step in this process, it's getting more formal and it's going to cost some money. But this would be putting it out an RFP um, to get a qualified individual or firm to do the work necessary to secure that DEP permit allowing the town to go forward. And um, I would recommend authorization of the town manager to issue that RFP qualifications for design engineering and permitting services for the municipal building and pool site. Second. Any public comment? Seeing none. Discussion? Council McAvoy? Only phrasing Okay. I'm going to take that as a friendly amendment to clear, clear up the language um, as a motion to authorize the town manager to do so. Second. Thank you. Discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. The next item is uh, new business, the Hamden Business Park renewal of authorization to sell agreement, including business park lot pricing with Epstein Commercial Real Estate. Referral from B&D and Finance. We had that discussion tonight in finance. It was voted unanimously to accept the uh, contract with Epstein it was, uh, to send it to council for vote. Uh, any public comment? Do I have a motion? I, re I would uh, move that we uh, renew the auth authorization to sell agreement, uh, including the business part lot pricing with Epstein Commercial Real Estate. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Thank you. The next item under new business is the request for authorization to sell a 2006 Sterling SL 8500 dump truck in council direction for the method of sale. This was requested by the Public Works Director, Sean Courier. This was discussed earlier tonight in finance. Uh, the plan is to sign a contract with Freightliner of Maine for a 10% fee to put it on their lot to sell. It was uh, passed unanimously in finance to send to council to put the truck on their lot uh, for sale. Any public comments? Do I have a motion? Um, yeah, <clears throat> hopefully I can do this correctly. I would, uh, I would move that we uh, uh, authorize the uh, bid method of sale. I believe it's a bid method of no authorized uh, uh, approving uh, not the bid method of sale for the uh, sale of the uh, Sterling SL 8500 dump truck. Second. I think we want to put a motion in there that we authorize it to go to Freightliner of Maine on their lot at a 10% selling fee. So be it. So second it. Thank you. Discussion, Councilor Marble. Just, just for the the public's benefit, if I can say this well enough, um, there are a lot of times where ordinance will justifiably so direct how we conduct business here, but there are sometimes the real world kicks in, and we may be doing better for the town uh, and the time of town staff by not going through a formal bid process, even though the dollar amount involved may trick the threshold that we do. So all we're trying to do is work with town staff on this one the best way we can uh, to take advantage of an opportunity to move an old piece of equipment in, in the best way that we think is going to happen. There's no guarantee. But that's why the discussion uh, and the vote in committee 
uh, was to go past the bid process or go around the bid process. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. The next item under new business is the request for authorization for the expenditure of $435.76 out of municipal building reserve funds for the purpose of paying Penobscot temperature controls for boiler repair. This was discussed earlier tonight in finance. It was voted unanimously to send the council to pay this bill to Penobscot temperature controls. Any public comment? Do I have a motion? I would move authorization for the expenditure of $435.76 out of municipal building reserve funds for the purpose of paying Penobscot temperature controls for boiler repair. Second. Discussion? All in favor? What? Oh, I was just going to well, mention some of the public may remember that this came up uh, a couple weeks ago, but it was a different repair. Uh, but the same situation uh, that we didn't budget for these kind of things to come out uh, of the regular budget. And that's why at, at this time we're taking it out of the uh, reserve funds until we get through the budget process this year. Thank you. Any other discussion? All in favor? All opposed? Thank you. The next item is the application for renewal liquor license for fresh ginger located at 64 Main Road North. Any public comments? Do I have a motion? I move we authorize the uh, uh, renewal of liquor license for fresh ginger. Second. Second. <clears throat> Discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Seeing none, thank you. The next item under new business was executive session, and that has been postponed for up to 30 days before we address that again, so that's on hold for right now. The next item is committee reports. We have services committee, Councilor Marble. Services committee met last week. <laughs> um, a lot of work was done. Um, we had a report from the uh, town IT staff, Kyle, on a town website, refresh, public can go to the current website and by way of, I don't know the correct terminology, a button or a flag or something, see an outline of what this new website is going to look like. We spent time reviewing the topographic survey results on the pool site, discussed the draft work of scope of engineering surface services at the pool site, as was already mentioned tonight. Um, we thought we were going to get early data on the community connector bus ridership, but the person who we thought was going to contract to do that uh, got a better offer and isn't going to ride the bus for 60 hours and count people. That's ongoing. Um, there will be a forum for community and civic organizations that I think is scheduled, now I'm really guessing, for April 19th. Does that sound right? Or April 9th? It'll be on the town website. I apologize, I don't remember the exact date. Uh, we looked over a request from Gateway Seniors Without Walls for our contribution to reprinting a guide of senior yellow pages, which impressed everybody on the committee. Uh, we postponed a meeting with the Hamden Farmers Market, but agreed that in essence, the same procedure should be in place this year as last. We reviewed, um, a, uh, an offer, I guess I would put it, from Bronco Travel Soccer regarding the 2017 soccer camp and were unable to come to an agreement with Bronco Travel that evening. And we agreed to be more common sense, I guess I would put it, about the town's rec budget for the rec and pool departments and have them be a revenue and expense budget just like the rest of the town instead of these enterprise accounts. And that's about the extent I can remember. Thank you. Uh, Council McPike, Planning and Development. <clears throat> um, we did not have a Planning and Development um, Committee last uh, Wednesday uh, due to uh, snow or pending snow or whatever took place. But next Wednesday night we will be having our, our planning and development committee meeting and it will be the results 
uh, of the survey that was done back, I believe, uh, December maybe, uh, that a lot of businesses in the community were involved with and a number of, uh, of other uh, agencies in the community. Uh, it will probably encompass the total meeting and it will be at 6 o'clock here uh, next Wednesday night and probably we're going to dedicate the whole meeting to that pending no bad weather or colds or flus or something else. A week from Wednesday? Yeah. Right. We yes. March 1st, a week from this Wednesday. Thank you. Infrastructure, Council Soroy. Uh, there has not been an infrastructure meeting since the last meeting. Um, for finance tonight, pretty much everything that was discussed in finance earlier tonight, we have just gone over in the uh, council minutes. So next would be the manager's report, and unfortunately, town manager Jennings is sick, just a little under the weather, so he was not able to be here tonight. So we wish him the best of luck getting better. Hopefully he'll be back soon. Uh, the next item is councilor comments. Councilor Soroyce. Um, the only comment I have is I'd like to request for the next council meeting for us to have another executive session. Um, number one, to discuss um, items that have been brought to some of the members' attention um, on the council, as well as a conflict of interest we may have with one member on the council. Um, before we have those conversations, we need to make that decision whether or not that person has a conflict of interest, and then we can move into those conversations. So if um, we could have the town attorney here as well as um, have that executive session, I appreciate it. Thank you. Councilor McPike? No comment. Councilor Wild? No comment. Councilor Marble? No comment. Councilor Comier? No comment. Councilor McAvoy? Yes, good evening. And I'd like to remind everybody to shop local and buy American. Good night, Amden. Thank you. Uh, tonight, I'd just like to update the public that uh, last Saturday we had a goals and objectives meeting with the town staff and the town council. We were here Saturday, probably till 2 o'clock, going over plans for next year plus long term plans, five years, 10 years down the road. It was a very productive meeting. There was a lot of stuff discussed and learned. The town council will be going forward with those ideas for the next year, figuring out our budget. Um, the town manager wanted me to express to the public that March 6th we should have a uh, plan roughed out so the public will know what some of our goals are going to be for the next year, what we're striving to do and where we, where we plan on being by the end of that year. And with that note, I would like to tell people that Again, it's nice to see people sign up to be on boards and committees, but also we're getting into budget season. It's coming right, right along pretty fast, and I encourage people to attend your committee meetings, get involved in the budget. Uh, if you have an interest and you want to know what's going on, that's uh, the best chance you'll see it down in the weeds doing the dirty work to get the budget together for next year. So with that, uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Thank you and good night.